The grasshopper tank is a fascinating concept proposed by an Australian designer named Murray, who is also a military personnel. Just by looking at its appearance, it resembles a hybrid of a helicopter and a tank. However, this concept was deemed impractical at the time, and people could come up with plenty of reasons to reject it, but they couldn't find a convincing reason to persuade the military to invest in its development. Nevertheless, the grasshopper tank itself is still very interesting, and friends who enjoy peculiar history might want to learn more about it. During World War II, tanks were in a period of technological transition, where they couldn't effectively balance the three elements of firepower, mobility, and armored protection. Additionally, tanks had to face different terrains and man-made fortifications in combat. Murray hoped that his grasshopper tank could easily overcome these obstacles. To achieve this goal, the grasshopper tank had two propulsion systems. One was a conventional track structure, and the other was lift propellers and a tail rotor for balance. The tank would primarily travel on the ground, with the propellers providing additional lift. In order to achieve brief flights, the tank had to be lightweight. Therefore, the envisioned grasshopper had almost no defensive capabilities, only offering minimal protection against light weapons. The tank had six pairs of road wheels, but it is unclear what type of suspension system was intended. Considering that the tank could be quite heavy upon landing, a suspension system with ample elasticity was likely to be used. The driver still occupied the front of the tank, but their visibility was affected. Murray envisioned a forward-facing glass cockpit for the driver, allowing for a more relaxed observation of the tank's front. However, this structure was not very useful, as the driver couldn't observe the rear and had limited visibility on the sides due to structures like the tracks obstructing their view. As for the underside of the tank, it was completely invisible. There was a proposal to install observation equipment similar to a periscope for tanks, but such equipment could only use ordinary glass materials. The weight of heavy bulletproof glass was too great, resulting in an inability to withstand even light weapon attacks. The fixed fighting compartment of the tank housed forward-facing weapons. As a lightweight flying tank, even the installation of a QF-2 pounder gun would appear cumbersome. Therefore, the possibility of was higher. Surprisingly, Murray also planned to install an anti-aircraft turret behind the main turret, similar to the rear defensive turrets on bombers. It featured a glass cockpit and two machine guns as weapons. It is unknown whether Murray considered the tail rotor and the rotating propeller on the top of the tank, as the firing angles of these two machine guns might be negligible. Since it was a flying tank, it could be vulnerable to attacks from below. The grasshopper tank had a bomb base similar to that of a bomber in its belly, which could open during flight to drop bombs downward. The tank had two propulsion systems, one for the tracks used for ground travel and the other for the propellers. This reduced the complexity of the structure and made it easier to control. The power shaft of the propellers was located in the middle of the turret, with two sets of propellers above it. It appeared as if they were coaxially rotating, but in reality, it was just to increase the number of rotors for improved lift. The propellers actually rotated in one direction. The spin caused by the two sets of rotors was balanced by the tail rotor on the tail boom, although it is unknown where the power for this tail rotor came from. Murray envisioned the grasshopper tank to weigh about 2.7 to 3.6 tons, even lighter than conventional light tanks. However, the planned crew members numbered up to five, which meant that the very limited weight had to be distributed among armor, engines, weapon systems, and even the propellers and fuel. It was undoubtedly impossible to achieve with the technology available at the time. When Murray submitted his idea to the Australian military, they considered it to be an overly idealized concept that was completely unachievable. There was no need for further discussion. When World War II had just ended, Murray's military career also came to an end, and he returned to his hometown. The grasshopper tank never became a reality, but the concept of the grasshopper did not disappear. At least, it shares many similarities with future armed helicopters.